Oh, you use this time we get a loading workspace screen every morning, wasting 20 to 30 seconds just to get into their desktops or applications. In 2025, that's just not acceptable. So, well, Microsoft kind of agrees. And that's why they quietly dropped one of the most underrated performance upgrades for Azure Virtual Desktop for Windows 365. It's called Direct Launch, and it's actually game changers. Normally, when a user logs in, the remote desktop client or the Windows app has to fetch their workspace feed from the cloud, download all their resources, and then launch their sessions. It works, but can be slow, especially in high latency environments or when users need access to one desktop or application, and they've got a list of 50 applications and desktops on their screen, and not sure which one they need to use. Direct Launch skips all of that. It connects the users straight onto their session, no workspace delay, no resource fetching, no subscriptions, just click, boom, you're in. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what Direct Launch is, how it works and when you should use it. I'll even demo it live so you can see the speed difference for yourself. So if you're an AVD or Windows 365 admin looking to shave precious seconds off your users' login times or you just wanna deliver a faster experience, stick around. Direct Launch might be the most powerful little feature that you're not using yet. So what problem are we actually fixing here? So basically, when you connect to an AVD or Windows 365 desktop, you have to download the Windows app, subscribe to a feed, and then you get displayed your desktop, you click on an icon, and then that get puts you into your desktop, okay? Sounds simple, but believe me, in a large corporate environment, it can be quite a convoluted process. So let me show you what that process looks like in the moment, and then we can show you the problem that we're fixing. So. This is the Windows app in its default state. But as you can see here, I have to sign in to this workspace. So I click sign in. This gives me my details. I'm gonna sign in using this account. Okay, and then I need to put my password in. Gives me access to the desktops, which I've got access to. Now, the user may not know which resource they connect to. They may have multiple applications, multiple desktops assigned to them, and they're not quite sure which one they need to connect to. So. Direct Launch bypasses all that. With Direct Launch, for example, I can fix this desktop here, okay? So it's gaining direct access to your resources. And we can do this with Windows 365 desktops, Azure Virtual Desktop for desktops, and Azure Virtual Desktop remote apps as well. So what we're gonna do in today's video, we're gonna show you how to configure it, and then we're gonna show you how to use it, and then we'll do a quick test to show you what that experience is like. All right, so let's get into actually configuring this. We'll do it for Windows 365 first. Then we'll do it for virtual desktop for desktop. Then we'll do it for a remote app as well. So let's take a quick look at the documentation from Microsoft. Here you can see what we need for Azure Virtual Desktop. You need a web browser to use with the Windows app. Okay. A new desktop or remote app, you define the URL to be assigned to the user. Also, we need some PowerShell stuff. We're going to use PowerShell to retrieve all the information we need to create the URL that we're going to use. Then we go down here and you can see all the different PowerShell files. Don't worry about that for now. We'll go into that shortly. And there's different ways you can do it via Azure Virtual Desktop for Windows 365. But as I mentioned, we'll do it with Windows 365 first and then we'll do it with Azure Virtual Desktop. Okay. All right. So basically, I've already gone through this in my PowerShell command window. And you can see here, I've got some wrong in the first place. So these are the PowerShell commands which we're gonna use. So the first one is install module Microsoft Graph, scope of current user, okay? So that's already installed for me. We need the Microsoft Graph installed. And then we're gonna use import module graph device management. So just click that and select run. Now we need to connect to Microsoft Graph. Microsoft Graph is a way of managing Microsoft resources, we can go in there, read stuff, create stuff, modify stuff. So it's how you can manage AVD, Windows 365, Intune. That's what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to click Connect MS Graph Scopes Cloud PC Read All. You can see here that's connected. Now I'm going to get my Windows 365 device. I'm just going to select Run Selection. And that's basically retrieved the ID of my Windows 365 device. Okay, so we need this ID here to connect to the desktop. So I'm just gonna copy that. And I'm gonna put that into a desktop. I'm gonna put that into a notepad. So this is my ID, okay? So now we basically take that ID. So we've done this bit here, okay? We've got this ID which we've just retrieved, okay? So basically we need to build this URL, which we've got here. So I'm gonna take that, and then I'm gonna go here, and then I'm just gonna put that in the front here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna remove 
that there. Okay, so that means that I've now got this URL. So I can save that URL, I can publish it as a shortcut to my users, okay? I can put it in a SharePoint site or a document and that will enable the user to connect straight to the desktop without having to subscribe to the Windows app. Let's give this a try now. We're in this new browser. I'm just gonna paste this in here. This is the URL that we're using. It's gonna ask me for my login details. So I'm just put that in. And there you go, that's going to dump me straight into my desktop. You can see here that's using the web URL, and I'm in. Just click that. So, yeah, that's how you generate the URL and connect directly into the desktop. It's very easy to use. The use cases for this can be like kiosk mode or if you want to launch straight into it or if you want to put the URL on the SharePoint site or send an email out to your user saying hey you want to get to your desktop just connect to this URL very useful way of connecting to the desktop so that's how you use it for Windows 365 let's now take a look and see how we'll use that for Azure Virtual Desktop we'll go to documentation here we need to get two things first we need to get the object ID of the workspace there's a PowerShell command you can run get hyphen ACWVD workspace. Okay. And then once we've got that workspace object, we actually need to get the name of the application group. This will be the DAC, the desktop application group that you subscribe the users to connect to the host pools. Okay. Let's have a look and see what that actually looks like within the Cloud Shell. Right. You could do this via PowerShell as well. I'm just using Cloud Shell um, because it's just easier to connect into the environment. Okay, so I'm just going to go here and launch. The host pool we're going to do this for is a host pool called Defender Test. I'm just click on this host pool, it's called Defender Test. First thing we need to do is look at the workspace, right? So if I go to Azure Virtual Desktop and then go to Workspaces, Nerdio Test is the one that I'm going to be using, and you can see that's in Resource Group Nerdio Test 2. So the PowerShell command for that is going to be this, right? So basically what we've got here, we've got the resource group name is Nerdio Test 2. You can see that here. And then we've got the name Nerdio Test. So that's the name of the workspace, right? And that's giving me a object ID of this here. Okay, so we're going to need this to create the direct launch URL. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we need to do this for the desktop application group, which is a map to the host pool. So the code to do that is this here. We can see resource group name near the test two and we've got an application group name of defender test app group right so if you didn't know how to get that the way we do that is we go into our host pools this is going to be my host pool here which is called defender test i'm going to click here and then we can go in there and then we can see the application group which is mapped to that host pool if i go here you can see it's got application group i'm going to click on that and that'll show me the name which is defender test hyphen app group and you can see that's what I put into this thing here. So that's pulled me back an object ID for the workspace and also an object ID for the app group. Now we can use that to build the URL and what that will give us, it will give us this full URL. So this is the URL we're going to use to connect to the desktop. Rather than having to go through the Windows app, I can just launch this URL I'm going to click that and that's going to take me straight into the desktop. So I'm just clicking connect. That's giving me my password. Okay, then we're straight in. Okay, very easy. Just saves a step from having to go through the Windows app to connect. The downside to this is the fact that we're using the web client rather than the full client. But if that's fine in your environment, then you're good. Okay, so that's how you connect directly to a Windows 365 or as a virtual desktop via a URL. Now the use cases for this, there's quite a few use cases. One thing which came to mind was creating a QR code, right? We could easily create a QR code, email that to people, and they can then use that QR code either via a laptop device, an iPad device, a phone or something, rather than having to send instructions of like how to download the Windows app and do this. You can literally just bang and then they're in using the QR code and um, you could also put it on the SharePoint site you can put it in an email link like website link whatever so it's just a much easier way of accessing a desktop obviously the old way would you be to 
download the Windows app or connect to a web URL and then have to subscribe to the workspace and all that stuff. Here we can just say if this is your host pool or this is your AV, this is your Windows 365 desktop and just give them a direct link access to that. So obviously it's not going to be a huge use case for it. Not everyone's going to use this, but for those use cases which require direct access been thin clients, factory floors, QR codes, I think it's a really nice solution. My only ask from Microsoft is, can we do this for the full client as well? Sometimes the full client, the Windows app gives you a better experience. You don't normally get the full experience using the web client, it has its limitations. Hopefully that will be coming in the future where we can do this and have it interact with the local Windows app and then launch that via the Windows app rather than the web URL. So yeah, hopefully that will come soon. All right, that's it for this week. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you've learned something. I know I always do. Please hit the subscribe button and I will see you next week. Thank <music> you.